Hello friends, this video on sexual reproduction in flowering plants part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we understood the structure of a flower, let us talk about the pre-fertilization events. Now in our previous lesson, we saw that whenever we talk about sexual reproduction, there are three major phases in sexual reproduction. First is the pre-fertilization, next fertilization and finally post-fertilization. So here also we will talk about each of these phases one by one. So first we will talk about pre-fertilization events in a plant. So, what are we going to talk about in pre-fertilization event? So, what are the events that occur in the pre-fertilization phase? Now, the events that take place before fertilization. So, what is fertilization? We already discussed all this. Fertilization is nothing but the fusion between the male and female gametes. No, now before the fusion take place, there are some preparations which take place. And what are those preparations? First is gametogenesis, that is formation of gametes. The male gamete has to form, the female gamete has to form, only then they will fuse, right? So that is the first thing, gametogenesis. And the next thing that has to happen is gamete transfer. Now, let us suppose the male gamete is formed, the female gamete is formed, but both the gametes should meet each other so that the fusion can take place. So basically formation of gametes and gamete transfer. These are the two pre-fertilization events. Now here in this case, in gametogenesis, we will talk about how the male gamete is formed, how the female gamete is formed. So first we will cover that part. Now in that also, first we will try to understand the male reproductive organ of a plant. So now first we will understand the, which is the male reproductive world? Exactly the androsium which is made up of the stamens. So first of all we will try to understand the structure of each stamen and then we will see where inside that stamen the male gametes are formed and how are they formed. So first we will completely discuss the male reproductive organ. So in male reproductive organ we will basically talk about these important parts that is stamen which the group of stamens form the androsium. We'll talk about microsporangium. This is very important. Inside the stamen somewhere, we have this structure called microsporangium. And basically, this is the place where exact gamete formation occurs. We will talk about the pollen grains. And pollen grains are the male gametophyte. That is, they are the organs which contain the male gamete. So these are three important things that we will talk about when we discuss the male reproductive organ. So let us start with the structure of the stamen. Now when I say stamen, I am talking about each individual stamen. So let us see what is there in this stamen. Now the stamen can be broadly divided into three parts. So the first part that we will talk about is the filament. Filament, normally also filament means a tube like structure. So it is the stalk that bear the anther. So what is anther? So the three parts are filament, anther and connective. So these are the three parts of the stamen. So if you look at the stamen, these stamen actually look somewhat like this. So this is the stalk that is the filament. So which is anther? This portion is anther. And what is connective? It is the part that is attached to the back of anther. So if you see, this is your anther. The yellow colored structure which you see that represent anther. But if you see the anthers are joined together with a pink colored structure and this pink colored structure is nothing but the connective which kind of connects the different lobes of the anther. Now there is a lot more to learn about the anthers. Now anther is a bilobed structure. Bi means two two lobes. It has two lobes somewhat like this. This one is, this is one lobe, this is another lobe. And each lobe has two pollen sacs. Now what are pollen sacs? These are nothing but a kind of uh, a cup shaped structure you can say. So inside each lobe we again have two cup shaped structures. And those structures are called pollen sacs. 
and each pollen sac contains the pollen grains. So now if you look at the cross section or the top view of the anther, you will get to know it better. So this is the anther, so two lobes, this is one lobe, this is another lobe. So each lobe has two pollen sacs. So here you can see four sacs, four cup shaped structures, correct? So these are the four pollen sacs. And inside these pollen sacs, you have the pollen grains. And what are pollen grains? They are the male gametophytes. So inside the pollen grain, you have the male gametes. So that is about the structure of the anther. Now here you have connective. So why do you have connective? So that because the anther actually is made up of two lobes. So the two lobes need to be connected somehow. So that, that part which connects the lobes of the anther to keep it intact, that is called connective. So from this what do we get to know? Okay, let me mark the uh, connective also. The pink colored thing which you see that is connective because it is kind of connecting the two lobes. So from this, what did we learn? We learned that one anther. So now in a flower, you just don't have one anther. You have multiple anthers because you actually have multiple stamens, right? And multiple stamens together form the world called androsium. So when you talk about each stamen, so each stamen will have one anther and one anther will have what? It will have four pollen sacs. So each anther has one, two, three, four, four sac-like structures or four pollen sacs. And these pollen sacs are going to have the pollen grains which, which contain the male gametes. Thank you. Please visit www.examphio.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.